Hey, hey guys, welcome to Daily Commitment, where we do a little bit of exercise every day. Today is my second to last day traveling. Tomorrow I will be back at my place. I'm going to have those awesome pull-up rings to do pull-ups on. I'm going to have those nice weights to do the, uh, the um, presses on. I'm going to have my, uh, my push-up handles so I won't be straining my wrist by pulling it all the way back when I'm doing the push-ups. So this is our last kind of find a way to do it exercise. Now there's an exercise bike behind me. I'm not going to use this bike, um, but this is, I just wanted to point this out. I'm down in another different friend's garage today and I noticed the exercise bike down here and I wanted to say that's a great example of a low slash no impact exercise that you can do. And it's great because it's got these, you know, you can see how long you're doing every day. You can slowly improve the amount of miles you're doing. A great way to start if, if you really got a heavy weight maybe, right, and need to get some calories burned, get yourself knees a little stronger, everything a little stronger to get you towards what I will be doing today, which is the good old squat, which I used to squat every day, but as I've been doing higher numbers, I've been bearing exercises. I've been having rest days with the squat. But I used to do squats every day. I really started bearing and not uh, doing them every day once I started adding that weight. Squats are an exercise you can do every day, especially if you're not doing a huge number. So anyway, uh, I, I really would rather do some of the more, um, the other auxiliary exercises, but again, we don't have all our special equipment. And hey man, getting squats done every day is a great way to exercise your whole body and keep yourself healthy when you're out of town when you don't have all that time. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out and mention that right there. We're gonna knock out some squats here, even though it's only been, I think, two days in between, one or two days in between instead of three days or whatever like I normally do. But let's just do some squats. Let's get our daily commitment done. And then tomorrow will be a good one. So we're gonna see how many we do. I'm trying to get my knees lined up just right. I'm coming all the way down. You might've heard my bones pop a little bit there. But I'm telling you guys, these squats make you feel great. If you come down all the way every time, if you keep your head straight, so make sure you're gonna tuck, you tuck your head like that as you come up. Right? And I like to do the clap because you're getting a little arm exercise with this rotation as you come. But honestly, guys, as long as you go all the way down and all the way up uh, and just your body feels good mechanically, you're doing pretty good there, man. You can, uh, you can tweak the exercise as you uh, sort of gain skills and stuff like that and make it just like you want it. But the squat is the basis. The squat, I guess, and the push-ups too, but really more so the squat is the basis of daily commitment. So... Anyway, let's knock out some of these and we're going to celebrate uh, getting back to our house where we've got all this great exercise equipment. I think we're up to like, what is that, four or five there? Call that one five. Let's knock out a bunch of these. Six. Definitely can feel some of that soreness still from doing, what did we do, 65 or something last time? Or 60, seven, yeah, we did 60, which is quite a lot of squats, man. Um, eight, let's keep that head tucked. And this is it, man. This uh, quick little exercise is probably gonna be about five minutes, right? Nine. It's gonna totally rev up our metabolisms. 10. It's gonna get this entire powertrain of our body. 11. Completely limbered up and loose and feeling good. It's gonna power us up every day if we do some of these squats. Uh, 12. I'm actually increasing the speed a little bit here. 13. And again, I started with 10 of these guys, or five or whatever, 14, and we built up to the point where something like this, where I just pop out like 20, 30, 40, 50 squats, is not that big a deal. So 15, let's speed it up a little bit, 16, we need a little cardio in there too, 17, take a little break at the bottom, right, 18, a little break at the bottom, make sure you're not bouncing. Right, because when you bounce, 19, you're kind of cheating the exercise a little bit, right? Not getting as much, 19. I mean, it's fine if you do it, man. As long as you're out there every day exercising, whatever. 20. I was watching a buddy of mine do push-ups. Uh, 21. And he wasn't quite coming all the way down. And I was thinking, it's not that bad, right? 22. But you're not getting the full range of motion if you do that, right? 23. And eventually, you're going to start not being able to have that strength at the end of the range of motion. 24. So that's the weakness of doing that. 25. And we're going to have our push-up handles, which actually increases your range of motion when you're doing the squats. 26. 
So anyway, guys, we're just going to keep on going. 27. And we're going to feel great when we're done, right? 28. Ooh, nice stretch every time. 29. Let me change my angle a little bit. 30. All right. 31. It's going to be great when we get back. We're going to be able to have a weight vest on these. 32. Try to do some of these 77 pound squats, those 60 pound squats, right? Uh, was this 33, I think, if I remember right? Anyway, let's get through this. 34. 35. Anytime you need some extra, says man, pop a squat. 36. 37. Yeah, sure. Come on down. Yeah. 38. This is Xander. He's coming to help us do some exercises. You can do a clap at the end if you want. Here we go. Ready? 39. Awesome, man. Here, let me get a little more That's room for you. That's only like my second. That's fine. For me, it's 40. There we go. Good job. It's fun. Just clap at the end. Yeah, the only thing you got to do, uh, 41, is go all the way down. Come all the way up. I'm That's a the little rule. flat faster than you. 42. You are. You're doing really good. Keep it up. 43. This is a great exercise. You're doing really great, Xander. 44. You're doing way faster than me. 45. Woo! Keep it going, baby. 46. There you go. Good job. My legs are tired. They so get I'll tired quick, it. don't they? The thing about this exercise is you're using your whole body, your whole body weight. 48. Is this, this is a the really only good exercise. One you're doing? 49. No. I do some push ups. Push -ups. Today, today, it's the only one I'm doing. 50. But tomorrow, I'll probably be doing push ups. And then I'll do pull ups. 51. And I'm going to do these. those with you. Oh, it sounds cool. 52. I'm actually going to do them when I get back to my house, though, because 53. I have these special kind of pull-up handles. 54. Wait, tomorrow they're we're bringing rings. your new home? Tomorrow I'm going to the airport. Mm -hmm. 55. Um. And head on home. Almost done now. 56. Woo, see how much breathing? You get tired quick. 57, because you're doing your whole weight. So it's super healthy. 59. And last one, all the way down. And all the way up, give it a clap. 60. All right, we did it, guys. So, guys, keep it up. A little bit of exercise every day and increase that exercise slowly. You can't fail to increase your health. See you guys next time right here on Daily Commit.